It's been nearly a month since outdoor youth sports were given the green light here in El Paso. As the weather starts to get warmer, many parents may be considering sending their kids back to these activities. Good morning, El Paso's Madeline Audley is live with tips from an infectious disease doctor to help you decide. Good morning. Mauricio, good morning. Many children are eager to get back outside and return to activities like this. But is it safe? Well, the short answer is that it can be for some people. A local infectious disease expert tells us families should come together, sit down and talk about their risk level. He acknowledges that many kids may have a lower level of risk for developing severe COVID-19 symptoms, but their parents or grandparents might be at a higher risk. If you decide to continue with youth sports, make sure you're following all necessary safety precautions. Dr. Armando Meza says these activities can be safe as long as you're wearing a mask, social distancing and washing your hands. The steps might sound simple, but Dr. Meza says ignoring them could lead to serious and dangerous consequences. I think that we sometimes have a psychological reflex of uh, denial. I think that if you are in the denial phase, don't go, don't, don't just skip it. But if you're aware and you are careful, uh, I think that by now most people should be safe to go to these activities but they still have to keep, uh, keep their guard up. El Paso Parks and Recreation is still banning spectators at youth sports. One parent or guardian is allowed per player. And if you're not actively engaging in physical activity, you will still need to wear a face covering. Reporting live at Galatson Park, Madeline Audley, Good Morning El Paso.